We are digging deeper into a developing story right now after a fatal shooting at a Milwaukee grocery store involving a man and two security guards. The district attorney is looking at the evidence, but now there are questions about how Wisconsin regulates private security firms. Bill Miston is live with a closer look at that. Bill. Ted and Mary, when a police officer uses deadly force, typically you see them go on what's called administrative duty or desk duty until that investigation is complete. But we found there's no such requirement for private security in the state. We need to look at what happens when someone discharges a firearm in this sort of profession, and especially so if there's a fatal shooting. State Rep. Jonathan Brostoff is on the Assembly Regulatory Licensing Reform Committee. In Wisconsin, the Department of Safety and Professional Services regulates private security. If the private security worker shoots a gun, DSPS requires the owner or supervisor to send a report to the state and police. But unlike what you typically see with police, there's no DSPS requirement for security officers who use force to take a leave of absence or desk duty. I think that this profession of private security in Wisconsin uh, needs to be examined. Police say 36-year-old Luis Lorenzo shot and killed 59-year-old Marshall Public Safety Security Guard Tony Nolden. It happened Saturday at the El Rey on Cesar Chavez. Police say another security guard shot and killed Lorenzo. The district attorney's office has not weighed in. Nothing bad you could say about Tony. That's Marshall's owner, Enoch Wilson. We followed up with questions about whether his company pulled the guard who shot Lorenzo off duty. Please leave your name. He did not respond to calls, emails, or a visit to his office. Some private security experts who spoke to us on background as to not affect their business say it would be bad judgment to have employees involved in a deadly use of force incident back on their regular job, but that it's up to the individual agency and its owner. And when an instance like this happens, it kind of shines a light on um, how much work there is to do and how we have to, uh, you know, move forward with proactive legislation. Now, we also reached out to several other lawmakers, state lawmakers, for this story, including Senator Van Wangard, a former police officer who was unavailable, as well as Senator Tim Carpenter and Representative Sylvia Ortiz Velez, who were, did not get back to us. Right now, the district attorney is reviewing the case, and more information is expected to come out this week. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Those last two represent the area where that supermarket is. Bill, thank you.